Hi friends, it's Donna with Past and Pages. So I'm back, going to work on this spread in my uh, Blue Abandoned House journal. And so I've been thinking for a while what I wanted to do with this. This little flap here is actually a piece off of a, um, a photo. Back in the day, you'd have these photos and they'd have a little um, paper thing that you would put them in and this was a flap off of a vintage one so I just um, masking put masking tape on that and I was I've been working with this tissue paper and I was thinking about adding this in here there is some foxing and aging over here that I wanted to kind of keep I didn't want to cover that up so I was thinking about maybe adding this here in the middle and I've been trying to think what I wanted to put here and here and I've pretty much decided on this I'm gonna add I'm gonna add this and maybe a little piece of um, paint dyed fabric here I took my uh, wrist brace off. I've been having some trouble with my wrist. I don't know if I sprained it or what happened for sure. Uh, but after I was picking up some boxes and stuff, it got aggravated. So, um, but that's what that is right there. So, um, let me just get this down. I'm going to get this glued down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got that down, and then I think for this area here, I'm going to add something like this, and I know that this is kind of like newer, but in an abandoned house, you find a mixture of things. I'm thinking about if I want to add some stitches and give that some texture or not. Um, right now I'm just going to go ahead and, and glue that down while I'm thinking about if I want text, if I want to add the, the stitching. So I just uh, used the Distress Ink around it and then on this piece as well. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do about that because if I've got blue in the machine and blue is what I've used in this journal so I think I am going to go ahead and just add some stitching around it so I'll be right back okay so I'm just going to get this glued down I'm glad to be able to be back in the craft room again. It's It's been a while, and I was actually kind of just, I don't know, kind of losing my, my mojo on everything. I just guess I needed to just kind of get in here and, and work and kind of get the, the feeling back. For it I was getting rusty okay so that's what I'm gonna do with that and I had a little bit of trouble when I was gluing this down and it's wanting to come up here because I 
pulled it up and put it back down. And this is purple, but it's it's not going to stay purple. It's going to disappear. But let me go ahead and add a little more glue there. Okay. So, where are we going now? Let's go ahead and, since I know what I'm doing here, I'll go ahead and add that. Right there. This is actually from a vintage um, photo album. The lady said she thought it was about 1915-ish. Just really enjoying it didn't have like a ton of photos but it had quite a few and I've just really been enjoying the, um, the photos that it had now I want this um, this little decorative showing there and there so that's why I went ahead and cut that cheesecloth down a little bit so we'll put that over there see I've got a little piece of fabric here this is paint dyed fabric that I feel like I'd like to put here I'm wondering if I kind of need to put a stitch in it and add that there so let me go run this under the machine a bit Okay, so I'm kind of wondering if I need to put, if I need to use Fabri-Tac on that. Generally, that's what I do. I'm going to have to find it, so hold on. Okay, so I think I am going to trim this just a little bit. I like that because it looks faded and everything. Looks really old. So I'm just going to add a little bit of Fabri-Tac here so that it'll stay put. Okay, I think that'll do it for there. Now, let's see. Where am I going from here? Okay, so... I think I kind of like that there, but rather than, rather than glue it down, it's, it is white on the back. I could stain this really quick and then it wouldn't be white. Then I could use some tape or I could just... I think what I'll do is I'll use my um, little tiny attacher, put a couple of staples in it over here. I think that's what I'll do. Sorry, I've got to reach in front of the camera to 
do that. Then let me, I'm going to flatten these on the back. Yeah, I like that. Let's see. I'm gonna just do a little bit of just a little bit, not a lot. Hit these edges just a little bit. I probably need to do it on this one too. Sorry again for reaching in front of the camera. So I'm definitely a little rusty. Um, I think I want this here with it kind of showing a little bit there. And I think I am going to just go ahead and glue, glue that down there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add this too. So I will be right back. Okay, so pretty much got that down, and I'm, I'm good with it so far. So I've got like that here. It's a little bit thick and wanting to come up in places. got some a stamp I'd like to add somewhere and a little ticket that I'd like I think I'll staple that on and then I like this number I want to add that somewhere let me see what's on this side kind of have it sticking up a little bit. Use it for a tab. Put that staple a little bit lower down than I really meant to. So that works. Um... wonder if I put that there to cover the staples, maybe. Put that down here. I might pull that one out. Let's see. I hope it works without tearing it. Yeah, I think I do like that better. Not sure. I'm 
I'm kind of wanting to use that somewhere, but I'm just not sure where. Let me see if I like that in the camera. Yeah, I think I do. So I'm going to go ahead and add this stuff down. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, Just not sure where I'm wanting to put this. I think it kind of needs to be there. I don't know. We're going to put it there. Um, but I hope you guys have been doing well and that you're healthy. And finding time to be creative. I know it definitely helps me when I am. liking it so far I think I'm gonna add that somewhere I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with that, if I'm going to add it. Um, but I like what we've done so far. I thought about adding some little things here, but I think I'm just going to use that for writing space because if I wanted to add things I'd have to write really really tiny and I'm not sure I can write that tiny but anyway so this is pretty much a completed spread for this abandoned house journal and I am pretty happy with it uh, I may add to it later I'm not sure I probably will add a little bit of scribbles here and there with my black um, pencil. Mm. Just to give it a little extra. But I think I'm really happy with it. I think I really, I really like it. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. Um, and I will be back really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.